this demonstration, you'll learn about the various GPU capabilities in ANSYS Fluent. The main benefit of using a GPU is for some cases, it can speed up calculation times. First, I will show you how to set up Fluent to utilize a GPU, and then I'll walk through some TUI commands to use a GPU for various calculations. When I start Fluent, I'm welcomed by the Fluent Launcher. Under Processing Options, you must select Parallel. Under Parallel, you can set the GPGPUs, which stands for General Purpose Graphics Processing Units per machine. You must know the number of GPUs that are available per machine. For instance, I have one on this machine, so if I choose two in Open Fluent, I'll see this message saying the GPUs haven't been set correctly and GPGPU computing is disabled. Assuming you have set the number of GPGPUs appropriately, once Fluent opens, you can use the command parallel GPGPU show to see what CUDA visible GPUs are on your machine. The star next to the GPU means it is selected and ready for use. You can change the active GPU by using the command parallel GPGPU select. If I exit without choosing a GPU ID and use the show command once again, you can see there is no star next to my GPU, meaning the GPU is not ready for use. Once your case is ready to run, you can activate the GPU by using this command. Here we see the equations which are going to be solved in this case. The GPU can be used to aid in solving any of these equations. However, it is activated by default for the pressure coupled solver. Accepting this, I can see that there are other options for using the GPU with the pressure coupled solver. I will accept the defaults for each option. When you do run the case, you can verify that Fluent is using the GPU by this message that appears in the console. One area where utilizing a GPU is known to generally provide speedup is in the view factor calculation for the S2S radiation model. For the ray tracing method with a GPU, you can use this command. You can choose the name of the file to store the calculation information. After the calculation runs, you can see that the GPU was used. In this case, three were used. With the HemiQ method again, you use this command and choose the name of the file for the view factor information. There are some different options for the HemiQ method. You will be asked how many GPUs you would like to use. I'll use the total number of GPUs by entering negative one. You can set the work distribution ratio. This will divide the work between the GPU and the CPU. A high number will use the GPU more. This depends on the relative speed of your CPU and GPU. I'll accept the default. And this file already exists, so I will say it is OK to overwrite. Again, you can check to ensure the calculation did in fact use the GPU by examining the console output. And you can see the work distribution between the CPU and GPU. And this concludes this demonstration of setting up and utilizing a GPU in ANSYS Fluent.